Hi guys, Yugi the Smurf here, back from vacation, and I'm starting a new segment. It's called Beating the Meta. In these videos, I'm going to be talking about some meta strategies. Decks, archetypes, engines, whatever. What they do, some lore behind them, you know, you gotta know your enemy before you can beat it. Then, after I give you kind of the what's up, who's who, what's going on, the down low, with that engine, archetype, etc., then I'm going to go into actually how to beat it with what, when, and what you actually want to stop. Today's video is going to be about beating Fire and Ice Hand. The lore behind Fire and Ice Hand are really all of the hands. It, are They are mechanical hand monsters used by Grig in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. These two hands are clearly made out of their respective elements, Fire and Ice. <gasps> so, the style that these cards like to play, like to be used as, is a defensive control strategy used to manipulate your opponent, or rather your card advantage, in your opponent's favor. So you want to stop. These cards, or this engine, can be splashed in literally almost anything. Most people run it as a four card engine, two fire out hands, and two ice hands, and they'll just throw it in anything. Like, for real, you should try it. If you haven't, it's a good engine, but I didn't want to do a video on that quite. So, the effects of fire hand. When this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, and sent to your graveyard, you can target one monster they control, destroy that target, then you can special summon one Ice Hand from your deck. Ice Hand's effect is almost exactly the same, but instead, you target one spell or trap card on the field, destroy it, and then special summon one Fire Hand from your deck. So some quick rulings and tidbits about these cards that you need to know in order to beat them are that the hand must be sent to the graveyard. It can't be destroyed and banished, it can't be just banished, it has to be destroyed and sent to the graveyard before it can do anything. Once the hand is in the graveyard, it has to have a target, a monster for fire hand, or a spell and trap for ice hand, to destroy before it can special summon the respective hand. Some common combos, which aren't really combos, they're more strategies with these cards since it's a two card engine, is that you will put them in attack mode and just attack a higher attack position monster just to get rid of your opponent's card advantage. So you attack a bigger monster with your fire hand, it gets destroyed, you destroy one of their smaller monsters, you summon the ice hand, you attack ice hand into the bigger monster, destroy it back row, to then get fire hand again, which then you use to attack the big one, then you can destroy the big one, summon the ice hand, and then attack directly for 1400. The other strategy is to set the fire or ice hand and wait for your opponent to run into it and then they'll start that little chain activation. Be very careful about the attack position fire and ice hands on your opponent's turn because they can clear mass amount of cards on your side in a very short time. So make sure you have some sort of anti-negate attack thing to save your cards and possibly simultaneously get rid of the fire hand or ice hand. So for countering fire and ice hand, beating fire and ice hand, what you want to do is get rid of the destroyed and sent to the graveyard step. Get rid of the target and destroying steps. And one other thing you should know is that you shouldn't worry too much about stopping the special summon effect because even if they don't special summon a monster, they can still destroy either a spell with ice hand or a monster with fire hand. So to reiterate, the things you want to stop is fire and ice hand being sent to the graveyard and them actually destroying your monster if they do get to the graveyard. When to stop these cards, it depends on the card you're using to counter them, to beat them. So for example, to stop the, them being sent to the graveyard, you could use a card like Dimensional Prison or Macrocosmos. Dimensional Prison you would have to activate on their attack declaration, so you would have to anticipate them doing the attack strategy. While with Macrocosmos, you can just rely on them being a more passive player. Two cards to mitigate the targeting and or destruction that Fire and Ice Hand use is one skill prisoner 
it's got a dual purpose thing that you can use twice or you can use if it gets destroyed by a different card. Also, Divine Wrath, which is just a good generic no monster effects, period. These four cards will help you counteract and anticipate the fire and ice hands that are being run in almost everything and anything this format. I hope you have a wonderful day. Subscribe to me if you deem me worthy. Leave comments down below if you know you have any other cool tech cards that just knock fire and ice hand just from being anything. Share this video if you liked it. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.